Hi everyone, Mr. Silva here, and this is the lesson for Digital Citizenship Day 3. Today's lesson is going to talk about passwords. So, we're going to start off with something a little fun. The next few slides are going to be the most commonly used passwords according to a 2018 study. These are 22 passwords that you should never ever use. Number one, one, two, three, four, five, six. That one shouldn't be used because it's all of the numbers in order from one to six. This next one is password. And I know this one might be a little bit surprising, but sometimes people just set this one to be funny or because they can't think of anything else. Next one, we add on it, so it's one through nine. Next one, we lose a number, one through eight. And then we lose a few more numbers for number five, which is one to five. Next one is six ones, although this could be, could vary. There could be varying amounts of the number one. Now we're adding some more numbers, one through seven. Sunshine, this is a popular one. QWERTY, which if you look at your keyboard, Q-W-E-R-T-Y is the first row of letters. I love you. Princess. Admin. This one has a little bit of a story behind it because of the fact that um, administrator accounts, very high level accounts for um, either a company or somewhere that does comp um, computer work, admin will be the default password. And it can become a problem because some people forget to change it. Welcome. All sixes. A, B, C, one, two, three. Football, because it's one of America's top sports. One, two, three, one, two, three. Monkey. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So going backwards now. Symbols. But if you look at your keyboard, these are all the symbols for one, two, um, eight in order. So if you would press and hold the shift key and do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you would get all of those symbols right in a row. Next one is Charlie. The last one to make this list is AA123456. Added some numbers or added some letters there. So the last few slides we talked about some of the poorest the poorest passwords. Um, but why were they poor? And they were poor because of a number of reasons. They were either easy to guess. There was not a lot of thought put into them, like putting numbers in order. Um, and they are common words that people know rather easily. When you make a password, always make one that will be hard to guess and hard to figure out. So here are some best pa practices in passwords. Um, use special characters, use numbers, and use a mix of capital and lowercase letters. In your reading today, there will be even more suggestions for you, but these are some of the top. One of the other ones that is suggested is that you combine all of those together with special characters, numbers, and letters and create something different. And one of the best suggestions is that you match words and common phrases together. Um, by doing so, I saw a comic the other day about um, passwords and one of them suggested the um, creating a simple phrase that you would be able to remember and that would be unique to you. So when you do make a password, you wanna make sure that you don't write it down, but you make it something that you, you yourself are going to remember. And keep in mind that sometimes you need to follow the website and place guidelines. Like if you work for somewhere um, or a website that you visit may have specific requirements, like you must have so many symbols, so many letters and so on and so forth. So you have to keep that in mind. And one of the best pieces of advice too is don't make the same password for every single website. The websites that you want to be more secure, you obviously want to make a stronger password. But if it's something very basic and something not as important, then your password does not need to be as strong. So why don't we do strong passwords? As you get older, you'll be responsible for setting your own passwords, especially as you move into high school and college and beyond. Your password can lead to social media profiles being hacked and taken over, 
bank and credit card accounts being viewed and looked at without your knowledge, and some of your government websites, things that you use to file your taxes or anything that you use to access government resources. Those could all be compromised and it could all be led back to you as well. Additionally, some, some of you will go on to high security jobs and jobs that are very, very secure and work for the government or work for um, the armed forces or anything of that nature where you have access to very private and very confidential information. And you may be responsible for setting your own password for that. So you need to think about what you possibly could be responsible for um, setting a password for. So in conclusion, making a password is very important and there's a lot to it. Make sure that you follow the guidelines and make sure that you set a strong password that you're going to remember. And that's going to be something that would be very, very hard for someone to guess. All right, that's going to do it for this lesson.